Hello, welcome to Chris's Quick Tips for Google Sheets. In this video, I will be looking at functions which locate text within a text string, and also some which allow you to change the text. Finally, we will take a brief look at three functions which use regular expressions to manipulate a text string. First, we will look at a couple of functions that allow you to locate text within another text string. For each function, the left-hand side of the table shows the parameters required by the function. Throughout this video, the far left cell contains the text string that is being searched. The other parameters are then listed. Ensure that you enter the parameters in the correct order for the function. I have color-coded the text to try and make it clear. If a parameter is optional, the top row shows the formula without the optional parameter, and the parameter is shown blacked out. And the next row down shows the formula with the optional parameter. The right hand side of the table shows the result of the formula, and the far right column shows the precise formula used in the cell. Let's look in detail at the find function. If I enter some characters that are not in the text, then you get an error message in the cell. A much more detailed explanation of the error can be read by hovering the mouse over the error, which displays a pop-up that gives a more detailed description of the error. The search text is now defined as the character string TEXT, all in lowercase. The find function returns the first occurrence at character position 11. The find function is case sensitive. If I change the search text to include an uppercase letter, then the find function returns an error, because find is case sensitive. So unless the upper or lower case of each letter is identical, the search text will not be found. The letters T, E, X, T occur three times within the text. If you want to find the second occurrence, you can use the optional third parameter to start the search after the first occurrence which you can do by starting the search at one character position after the first occurrence. So if I enter 12, then the find function returns the second occurrence of text. Of course, instead of having to manually type 12, you can edit the formula so that the output of the first find is the input parameter, or you can even nest functions. The other function that locates text is the search function. This function is not case sensitive, so the search text can be either upper or lower case, or even a mixture. If the search text is lower case, the search function still finds the capitalized this at the start of both sentences in the text. I have set the start search at character position to be 1 plus the result of the first search function so that it finds the start of the second occurrence of the word this. If I change the search text to search, then it has found the characters S-E-A-R-C-H at positions 42 and a second occurrence at 59. The first occurrence of search is within the word searched. This shows that this is not a word search. It is simply searching for the letters in the correct order. It does not matter what characters are before or after the search letters. If you put a space after the letters S-E-A-R-C-H, the first occurrence is now found at character position 59, and since there is no second occurrence of the word search, this is indicated by the error message. This solution works in this example, but may not work in other situations where search may be at the end of a sentence and have a full stop immediately after the characters. If you want to change some of the characters in a text string, then there are two functions to consider. The substitute function will search the string for the search text and then replace with the specific text. The replace function will change the characters from a specified start character position with the specified text. Let's have a closer look at the substitute function. This function will swap out or substitute the search text with replacement text. It will either replace all occurrences 
or just the specified occurrence of the search text. The top row shows how the substitute function is used to replace all occurrences of a text string. For visibility, I've changed the word text in lowercase with the same word in uppercase. The result shows all occurrences have been changed to uppercase. The search text is case sensitive. If the search text is changed to uppercase, then you can see that the result of the formula does not include the word text in uppercase. In other words, there have not been any matches with the word text in uppercase, but note that this does not produce any error message. It simply leaves the text unchanged. The substitute function can also be used to change a single occurrence with the inclusion of a fourth parameter. I've initially set the fourth parameter to one and the result shows that only the first occurrence of the word text has been changed to uppercase. If I change the fourth parameter to two, the second occurrence is changed. Similarly, if I change it to three, the third and last occurrence of text is changed to uppercase. Note that if I change the fourth parameter to four, when there are only three occurrences of the search text, the text is unchanged. All occurrences of text are unchanged in lowercase. Also note that if I change to zero, then all occurrences of text are changed to uppercase. In other words, the value of zero is the same as not having a fourth parameter in the substitute formula. The replace function changes a specified number of characters starting at a specified character position with the replacement text. The replacement text does not need to be the same number of characters as the number of characters being replaced. You can replace the specified characters with less characters or more characters. The example shows five characters to be replaced starting at character position one. The replacement text is in capitals and has underscores so that the replacement text is very obvious. The result shows that the word this and the following space which were the first five characters, have been replaced by the text in capitals. If we change the number of characters to be replaced by zero, then with the start character position on one, the replacement text is inserted at the start. No characters are deleted from the original text because the number of characters to be replaced is zero. If the start character position is changed to 24, this will insert the replacement text at the start of the second sentence. So if the number of characters to be replaced is zero, then the new text is inserted at the position specified by the start character position. A start character position of zero is invalid and produces this error message, which indicates that the value must be one or more. If the number of characters to be replaced is larger than the number of characters to the end of the string, then all characters are replaced to the end of the text. Google Sheet provides some functions which use regular expressions, also known as regex. Regular expressions is a very powerful tool for defining a search pattern to manipulate text. In the remainder of this video, I hope to give you an idea of how powerful regular expressions can be, and you can then decide if it is worth learning more about regular expressions. There are three regex functions, and I will demonstrate the effect of a few simple regular expressions. If the regular expression is just text, -E then the regex is simply looking to match the characters text -T somewhere in the text with the characters in the same case. Regex match returns the logical value true if there is a match and false if there is no match with the regular expression. In this simple case, there is a match, so the function returns true. The regex replace function changes only the first and last occurrence of the letters text -T, because only these two occurrences of the letters are all in lower case. The reg extract function finds the characters that match the regular expression and in this simple example just return the word text. 
If the regular expression is changed to text all in uppercase, there will be no match. So the regex match function returns the value false. The regex replace function only changes the fourth occurrence of text because that one is all in uppercase. The regextract function returns an error because there is no match for text all in uppercase. If the regular expression has open brackets, question mark, I, close brackets at the start, this indicates that the match should be case insensitive. So if I change the regular expression as shown, then regex match is true because there is a case insensitive match with text in uppercase. The regex replace function now changes all the occurrences of text regardless of the case of the individual letters. So all five occurrences of text are changed. The regextract function now extracts the word text in lower case, even though the regular expression is in uppercase. If I now make the regular expression even more complex so that it matches with all characters up to the end of the third occurrence of text, irrespective of case. The regex match function is true because there are three occurrences of text. The regex replace function replaces all text up to the end of the third occurrence of text. The regextract function returns an error because the word text only occurs once, so there is no third match. This complex regular expression returns a date that occurs somewhere in the text. The regex match function returns false because there is no date in the text. The regex replace changes the date that is right at the end of the text with the new text. The regextract function returns the date. However, it's worth noting this date is a text string and not a date number that can be manipulated in Google Sheet. To convert the text to a date, use the date value function. The contents of D11 are now a date number. You can see this by changing the formatting of the cell to a number. and then change back to a date format. I've not even tried to teach you how to write regular expressions in this video. I'm just trying to give you a taste of how powerful they are. Maybe it has got you interested in regular expressions and you will spend some time learning how to write regular expressions.